Well, it's uh, opening weekend while well, we we're in camo. Went out yesterday. Uh, what did we get? We got, uh, well, six, which was good. It was good. Time for a beer. Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sarge. Um, yeah, only weekend. Yeah, um, weather wasn't that flash. It was very, very hot and ducks were flying at like very, very high. So, yeah, not a, not a great weekend for ducks. Well, a good weekend for ducks and not a good weekend for duck shooters. Um, but anyway, <laughs> might as well have a beer at the end of the, the, end of the weekend. Um, so, what I've got here is a... This is one I've never, ever tried before but I think I have because I generally I generally do so this is from epic it's called get this stay frosty it's called stay frosty and it's a cold India pale ale well generally mine are cold um, it's it's a bit freaky psychedelic and Buddhist like because it's got a Buddhist monk on the front playing a guitar it's a 6.7, 440. It's got Mosaic, Simcoe and Citra in it. Happy. That's cool. Uh, imagine a smile as radiant as the dawn. Your heart beating in sync with the rock and roll anthem of the moment. Feel the warmth of, the, of now. As if each breath serenades your soul. Life akin to the perfect sip of a cold IPA is most fulfilling when fully embraced in its present melody. So rock on, relish the now, and let each beat celebrate the extraordinary within the ordinary. Um, it's got its own website, stayfrosty.epicbeer.com. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, a cold IPA. I guess it could be like one of those, maybe it's like an ice beer. I don't know. I do not know. So we'll chuck this in the glass and see if there is any difference between a cold IPA and an IPA, which is generally consumed cold. Glass, beer, clear, light, pale. Mmm. This could be. I guess this does look a bit like one of those lion ice. Lion ice is always quite light like that, although I don't tend to drink lion ice at all but look at that it's clear and this could be interesting oh it's got some really nice smells coming off that real fruity um yeah citrusy bit of sort of tropical fruit mangoey type smells coming out of there Maybe this might be a maybe a new style that uh, I might have to try. Right, let's get this down the gizzard. Quite a um, <coughs> quite a decent heavy bitterness there it feels really really heavy um wow that is so good that is so good i think with those light malts the hops obviously shine through more than the malt but you're getting a light little light malt kick through there um i don't know the process um if it is a different process to normal brewing with beer I don't know but this is fucking outstanding such a nice flavor from a very very light beer um, man it is good that is good you should find that stay frosty find that stay frosty drink that be happy Man, I could smash that all day. That is awesome. There you go. Uh, there's another um, beer review from Beer Sarge.